from the car outside the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. So it was too humid to film a tabletop video. Uh -huh. So we decided just to face the camera. We like to do it in the car too. We like to do it in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we're really excited about this video. We got a lot of stuff to go over. Yes, we do. I have a lot of notes. I wrote a lot of them. There's Frankie's notes. Yeah. Is it, did you get it all on one page? Yeah, yeah I okay. did. It's all there. It's like I was doing schoolwork. Yeah. The knife will be here. Actually, uh -huh. let's get the thumbnail right now. Something, I don't know. I don't know. Like there, yeah. Okay. That might be the thumbnail for okay. the video. No, it's gonna be Artisan Cutlery. Uh -huh. We've talked about them for a few years now. Yeah, it's been a little while. It's a newer brand. Uh -huh. What? They're they're less than probably five years old. I would say probably about five years, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, we've shown them at Blade Show. We've shown various knives in our own collection over the years. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, good stuff. It's a premium brand. Yes, it is. Yeah. And well, what do you got there? What do you? Well, I wanted to talk about something. This we got, is. A, we've got a lot to talk about. We what? do. Okay. Um, what were you doing when you were seventeen? What was I doing yeah. when I was seventeen? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say, because not everything I was doing was necessarily legal. Legal. Yeah. Okay. What about you? What were you doing when you were seventeen? I was a nerd. I was graduating high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, that's why I was talking about that, is because this designer is 17. Yeah, so we're talking about the designer behind this knife, 17 years old, mm -hmm. Canadian knife maker, Jonathan Shaw. Yes. All right. He's been making knives. Since he was 14. Since he was 14. It's crazy. We've met some very young knife makers mm -hmm. over the years. Uh, maybe they get into it as a passion from their parents. They they, they have all the tools. They have a shop. They have the materials yep. to make it happen. It's super cool. It is. It's um, really neat. Yeah, this Jonathan Shaw, we're just kind of uh, learning about him. Uh -huh. Started when he was 14. Has now a design for a folding knife. Yes. Yeah. Well, and what's really cool about him too is that, okay, so he stopped designing right now. Um, because he joined the Canadian Armed Forces. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of just neat as an engineer officer. Yeah. Craziness. Right. Well, maybe mm -hmm. he'll continue yep. um, after he gets out of there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. That this really one, neat. if he only ever does this one, though, we're saying it's pretty good. Yeah. Did we put yeah. it back in the box? No, it's it. right there. I got it right okay. here. Yeah. Okay, let's get into some stats about it. There's a preview. Okay. All right. As of filming this, uh -huh. it's not actually available. No. It's, Why do we do this to people? I don't know. Well, you can buy it. Yeah. You just can't have it. That's true. Yeah. So, okay, let's establish that uh -huh. it's on something called... Kickstarter. Kickstarter, right? And as of the um, debut of this video, it just went live like today. Yeah, okay. Yeah, or maybe last night, I forget. Uh -huh. But yeah, it needed a certain amount of money. Yep. Already made it. It's already got past uh -huh. that goal. Yes. So it's going to happen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, should we show it? Show it. It's called the BOA. This is the BOA uh -huh. folding knife. Yeah. All right. It is a front flipper. Yeah. Among other things. And a middle flicker. Middle finger flicker. It's a middle flicker. And a thumb stud flicker. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. We'll talk about the deployment fun that you can have with this knife, but well, what should we say right now? If somebody Whoa. is going to want it, okay, all right, right now it's yeah. one seventy nine. The this there's four varieties. There's four versions, five. kind of like five, yeah, yeah uh, of this knife. Okay, this one is known as that's the Tactaboa. The Tactaboa, mm -hmm. all right. All right, and this is the carbon fiber with the um, the black finish, mm -hmm. murdered out shawl. Yes. What is the blade steel on it? S thirty five band. Okay, S thirty five. There's this is um, I want to say the lowest price. Yeah, three basic models. Three of them are, are basic models, mm -hmm. all at the same price. Yes. All with S thirty five band steel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are the other names? The stipled. The stipled. So that's a titanium textured handle. Yeah, right. And then rustic, which is micarta. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Tactaboa. Yeah. Which all come in at the same price. Mm -hmm. um, should we talk about prices a little bit though? Okay. Well, right now. They're at, like 35% off. As of the Kickstarter debut, mm -hmm. there's the super early bird that is, yeah, it's. Um, it's a good deal. It's, it's the best price you're going to find on them mm -hmm. right now. Whenever you're watching this, I don't. We don't know if you're going to be able to get them or not. We don't know if they'll be available. Yeah, maybe to stores or something eventually. Yeah, yeah like are are the um, distributors buying these right now? I don't know, I don't but know. Uh -huh. everybody can buy them. Yeah. Anyway, um, th those are the prices for the three. Uh -huh. There's a fourth model. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, it jumps quite a bit uh, in price. Full dress, Timascus scales, S90V. Okay. Starts at 519 well, it starts at five nineteen for the discount price. Yeah. So it's going to be even more um, spendy. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So yeah, but there's two varieties of that. Yes. Of the full dress. The difference is, sand polish is five nineteen. Then there's a pretty mirror polish, so everything's like super shiny mm -hmm. for six forty nine. Wow, and these are the discounted prices. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jeez. Those might be a little. That particular model might be a little bit out of our realm, mm -hmm. our typical realm of prices that you see on this channel. Right. This one would be right, right in there. Mm -hmm. Right in there with a lot of the knives that we love. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, let's talk about it. It's the Boa. Mm -hmm. The blade length, it's coming in at 3.12. Right. So, it's kind of right in this size where Frankie and I consider it his or hers. Yes. We both mm -hmm. love this knife. Um, might be technically out of your limit. Right, but I love it. She can carry up to a three inch blade mm -hmm. at her hospital. So this one doesn't qualify. Shut up. <laughs> this one's That's illegal. Just mean. Yeah, yeah. No, I could just be like, are you measuring like the, um, this is where I could get technical. I could be like, are you measuring it from the finger choil or where? <laughs> yeah, because this is no. the, this is the cutting edge. You better, <laughs> yeah, it's coming in under three inches. Exactly. If you're measuring it properly. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> well, we already mentioned it. There's the front flipper. Yeah. Which, We've kind of been saying mixed things about front flippers lately. Mm -hmm. I love this style. Yeah. Um, it absolutely works. I gotta be able, be able to do it first try to show everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I no, feel I'm, like you're gonna hit my steering wheel. I'm not going to, okay. Okay. All right, um, standard front flipper, right? Mm -hmm. But you can do the reach around. Oh yeah. Everybody likes the reach around. Not everybody, but. I think most people do though. All right. That's some fun deployment you get mm -hmm. out of it. Let's let's talk Thanks. about. Thanks, I get to handle Go it. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Okay, what I was gonna say as soon as I how got, did you deploy it? I did finger flicky. All right, with the cutout. This one. Yep. I didn't mean to flip everybody off. And then there's thumb studs, thumb studs too. Mm-hmm. But like, I just really like it. Okay, and then you can do like the thumb reach around. That's the standard front flipper. That's the reach around. This is, this stop, is always stop so... Stop putting it in my face. I'm like two okay, feet right, away from you. Right. This one is always very awkward for me. You have me. to get more up on no, it. No, I, I can't. It's hard for my hand. I can't get it. Anyways. We're not going to edit this video. I'm not going to edit it. That's fine. We don't need to. But she can do, you can do the standard front flipper yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. I just right. love it. As soon as I got it in hand, though, like everything about it is so smooth. I just like the feel of it. It's smooth. It's sleek. It's arr. it's considered well. It's a drop point blade, mm -hmm. right? With a pretty cool. Um, what would we call that on top of there? Well, and it's rounded it? too. Like you could actually well, let's see here. You can grip into it like this, which would be interesting. Yeah. You can or choke like up with your that. thumb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no actual jimping up there, but you don't really need it. No. Um, it feels good. The, we wrote down some specs. Yeah. We normally check this at the table, but what is the blade stock thickness? 0.11. Okay, so these days... That's pretty typical. It's pretty average blade stock thickness. On I that. did bring calipers and the scale because, of course, we're in the park. Yeah. So, yeah, 0.11. Handle, 0.46, and it's um, like a little, rounded. A little on the thinner side overall. And it's carbon fiber inlay, so it, like everything, like there's no, you can't feel the transition there at all. 
Okay, yep. So take the calipers. And you can measure something over there. Thank you, yeah. You're welcome. Does this even work to just hold the scale? We wrote it down. He's unsure when you hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the most effective way to weigh the Okay, knife. I wrote it down. It's 3.1 ounces, too. Okay, 3.1 no. ounces. Um, it's pretty light. It's not real big, but it's... Uh -huh. God, for, just love it. For us, we're saying it's really a, a his or hers knife. Uh -huh. Either one of us carry this size of knife. Yeah. It's not real tall, either. What I like else? the name Tactaboa because it's very close to Tactaboob. I thought you were gonna like that. Frankie yeah. Frankie carries mm -hmm. her knife the tact of boob style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with Artisan, it's a premium brand. It's a premium Chinese brand. Yeah. Um, they we've shown the CJRB CJRB knives. Yeah. So, and this one. Yeah, just recently. We showed the Pyrite. Uh -huh. These are pretty sweet, especially for the price. This was sitting on the vent. It is freezing. All right. <laughs> it oh, it is. It is. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Uh, very nice button lock. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the, we'll call it the standard brand. Yep. The parent company or the parent brand to this is the Artisan, Artisan. Mm -hmm. um, which is what that the is. BOA is, yep. right? Yeah. So, anyway, there, there's a little something there for you. Um, and we've shown various models over the years. Mm -hmm. Might be my favorite. It is probably mine, actually. It Jonathan, honestly is. Jonathan, if you're watching, good job, buddy. I know. It makes me so proud, like, of a 17-year-old. Like, we could have a 17-year-old child right now. Yeah, we've been married for... 20, a long time. Well, we've yeah. known each other for 24 years now. But think of how proud you would be if your 17-year-old child was designing knives. Yeah. Like, what are our kids doing? Well, and, and it's not even that, that he designed a knife. Because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people might be able to design a knife, yeah. okay, um, whether you like it or not, whether it's a good design, mm -hmm. all that, but can you design a knife and accomplish it? Right, that's Get true. it done and get it into people's hands. Mm -hmm. Not just one custom knife, but get it into, get it out there yeah. for the general public. Can you make it happen? It's impressive. It is, yeah. It really is. The BOA. Mm -hmm. We're used to premium construction premium build for artisan yeah it's a functional blade we'll be honest either one of us have used it much yet mm -mm. uh we will yeah, it, we it'll will. see some it'll see some pocket time and some yeah usage tact to boob time i think about a tact to boa like i i feel like he should have like camo on a boa constrictor with camo uh -huh. And like little night vision goggles. It would just be really cute, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, Carrying this knife. All the dudes out there watching <laughs> this video are going to be into that design too. Yeah. Yep. Or that, that image. Mm hmm Okay. Now, we can't say it enough. We both love it. It's a liner lock. The Timascus is also liner lock. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. Um, they're all going to be liner locks, aren't they? Yeah. It's yeah. really nice how it's set in there it has just like a good amount of cutout i don't know you can't touch the tip while it's closed right mm -mm. let's see no wiggle well and we don't even have those issues with the cjrb brand right yeah um let alone the premium step up i just think for 179 this is a really good deal once it goes up in price it's going to be a little bit more I think it will be roughly 284 At the end yeah. price? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Is it worth that? I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah. For sure for 179 I would say. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it really just depends on when you're watching mm -hmm. as to what you can get. We'll have the link in the description of the video. Check that out. What else do we want to say about it? We're not sure exactly how it's going to come packaged, but we think possibly this. Yeah. With the nice case and cloth. And the pouch that they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about the dates too. Oh, all right. So um, I think that production will actually start October 23rd. And that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And then there'll be fulfillment expected should be 
11 23 so right around thanksgiving okay all yeah. right and that so. um should that be shipping then i think so yeah. all right mm -hmm. all right maybe my so, guess not too not too far out i really like it yeah me I, too i guess we, we've said it a few times i really like it normally we're better about the details when we're doing these tabletops it is right hand only yeah it is yeah sorry mm -hmm. lefties yep. what else what, what are the details do we want to say about it the thumb studs you can see that the two style. options for the basic are black pvd or sand polish yeah i want to say this is the only all black one the other two are the sand polish yeah um I think that's pretty much it, actually. Oh, now it's raining out. It's not Ooh, only weird. not only uh, too humid to film outside, but now it's raining. It's sunny and raining. It's always confusing when it does that. I love the style of clip mm -hmm. that goes along with the contours of the of the handle itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and did you notice it says artisan right here, and his company name is Triple Stripe. All right. And so there's three little stripes right there. And probably uh, with a lot of you out there as well, we're, we're, we're totally new to this maker. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll maybe we'll put as many links as we can. I don't know if he's on Instagram. We'll have to check that out. Yeah. But. I don't know. Yeah, it seems really cool that he's going into Canadian Armed Forces as an engineer officer. Yeah. Yeah. At 17. That's just crazy, too. Good job. What's everybody Thank you. think? We love it. Mm-hmm. Team, you have good reach around skills. Reach around skills, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's um, we we joke, you know, it's it's a super fidget knife. Yeah. And knives these days, especially for us, that's like, it's sad, but it's mm -hmm. almost like the selling factor <laughs> yeah, about a folding knife. It's like, well, is it a knife? Does it cut things? Yeah, but it flips like <laughs> amazingly, you know. And it's it, fun to you play can, with. You can sit and play with it yeah. for hours, and then every now and then you can cut something with it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I feel kind of bad. We don't like. You're being honest. We don't hard use our knives. Like, mm -hmm. I used. I mean, I was in construction. Yeah. Um. Actually, probably about that age. In, right. And into yeah, my twenties, I've mm -hmm. used, um, and and hard cut and needed knives for yeah. real things. You know, mm -hmm. uh, just less so <laughs> lately. <laughs> Um, and you I still softened up over the years, <laughs> and I still just love knives. Yeah. So do you? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't we don't hard use them as much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but it's an ultra fidget knife. Yeah, it is with premium materials that you can hard use. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's what I've always liked about carbon fiber is that it actually is very durable. Um, and it doesn't scratch. Yeah, that's what I mean. So much, mm -hmm. right? Right. Carbon fiber typically, I I thought I like. You don't want to drop it. Oh, brittle. It can yeah. be brittle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That used to be a thing in um, Racing. like mountain biking, uh, different materials of mountain oh, bike. They yeah. would consider uh, like carbon fiber to be brittle. Mm -hmm. Like you could damage it if you physically hit it. It yeah. would damage it a little easier. I, I don't know as much about that lately. We've not had an issue I've with never, our knives. Like, it doesn't ever scratch, which is really nice. I, that's what I like about it is that like you can use it and you don't really... Yeah. beat it up yeah um yeah. it can it can be in your it can rest in your pocket along with your keys and your phone yeah. and all that stuff and yeah it doesn't seem to scratch mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's i i good job 17 year old the boa yeah, yeah. is there anything else we wanted to say about it mm -mm. we'll have that link in and any other links that are relevant for it yeah but yeah, make sure to get one as soon as possible. Right now it's the super early bird, as if there's going to be an early bird. And, and then, then like, just a bird. And then like, you know, your last place, pay full price, haha. -ha. Yeah, I don't you know. suck. Yeah. <laughs> um, but let us know, did you get one? Did you back it? Mm -hmm. Are you watching two years from now? Are they long gone? Is there different, does he have more designs? Are they, is there eight designs now and it's a full production, <laughs> yeah. like ongoing thing? We don't know. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. All we know is that it, it it's happening. They've already got the money enough to back it, to get it going. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like, how many will they need to make? Yeah. Uh, and that's, you know. And then the wait happens. Up to you guys. But Future you will thank you. It's, it's not too much of a wait. Mm -hmm. We're filming this uh, mid-September. This is going to be. Um, so two months. 
yeah, a little over two months yeah. is what they're talking about before they might uh, before they would start shipping. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, there's a longer video than we might have planned. I know we are rambling. It's so smooth though. I just love it. Yeah. Three varieties for not a bad price. Mm -hmm. Maybe a maybe a typical premium production knife from China type of price, and then an ultra nice. Yeah. Uh, Timascus. <laughs> and then there's a mirror polish one even at that. Wow. With uh, mm -hmm. S90B steel. So. I bet that's just beautiful. I bet it really is. We don't have them in hand to compare. We mm -hmm. just have this one. But yeah. No. They look they look amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All righty. Well, if you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, did you get one? Did you back it? Yep. I feel like you're waving knives around at me uh, quite a bit in this video. It always looks worse. Mm -hmm. I say that every time we film a car video, but it always looks worse yeah. than the reality. It's really not too bad. She's not She's not gonna stab me. I mean, it, probably not. At in, least not you know, on camera. Not intentionally is what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. All right, no, that's it. <laughs> Good stuff. If you made it this far, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, all that stuff. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.